Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and today we are playing Dredge and we are back at Greater Marrow but um, we came back here just for one particular reason and that was to get some cloth which we finally accomplished and that basically allowed me to create the next tier of hull which we now have. We have the biggest hull. Actually that's not true. I think there is one more addition we can do. Yeah, we can still get four additional spots here, down here, you'll see, but we're pretty close to max out. Um, we've got to designate two more for the engine, one more for the light, and then we can look into some fishing stuff. But we're getting real close to the end of our upgrades here, unless there's like a whole nother window I don't know about or something, but... There's no way to scroll, so I'm not sure, but there's still a ton of research to do, so we've got more of this going. Um, yeah, we still got this big old engine stack right here to look at, not to mention the jet engine, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think today we are going to head back up to the Twisted Strand. So we came up here, kind of doing some exploring and stuff, kind of got ahead of ourselves, but there's a quest up here that we can finish. So there's probably more to do up here too in addition to this one quest, but right now I just want to finish that. We've got this one item here, the mortar frame. we got to go drop that off. So let's undock. It is 2 o'clock. I think if I'm real good about this and I don't stop to do any fishing or anything, I can probably make it to the floating uh, pontoon there. Let's see, am I headed the right direction? Yeah, so if I get up there, just make a straight shot past Steel Point, I should be able to reach the rickety pontoon. No problem at all. Man, I'm so tempted to get that cloth. Actually, oh man. <laughs> you see, I can't, I can't go past this stuff. Okay, that's not cloth. I was mistaken, so I'm not going to bother with it then. Won't worry about it. Those uh, random parts or whatever they are, they are fairly easy to find. Um, a lot easier than cloth, that's for sure. So let's just blaze on through, make our way through this little area. Have I visited this island before? I don't know. What is this? Holy crap, there's a little boat here. Hey there, you pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan. Oh, God. Uh, lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't boiled for or bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package. You would? Well, I guess that would work. All right, let's grab that. All right, the courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds on the deck below. You pick it up. On my way, whenever I'm on the coast is clear, save travels. All right, what did we get? A book? Yeah, there we go. Getting over with it. Mind and body. Mm. All right, so we've got to head back. And, you know, it's not the end of the world. It is pretty late. So we can probably just sleep a little marrow. Let's grab whatever this is real quick, though. So we'll drop off the package at Mara. I'm sure it'll be some sort of, um, they'll want to talk about it and explain to me what's in it and stuff, even though I really don't care. But uh, let's get over there and find out. All right, we have arrived. The dock worker is here. I've got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns off and hurries to the, down the dock without another word to you or compensation. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Let's see. Yep, we're still holding this, but yeah, time for bed. And then I promise we're going to... What the hell is it called? The Twisted Pear or something? Uh, the Twisted Strand.
All right, well, I have filled up the hole, as you can see. I spent most of the day just traveling over here, fishing and stuff, but that's okay. I figured if I traveled, I probably wouldn't have much time left, even if I just sped over here. So, filled up the hole. Let's make a little bit of money. Uh, go to the fish market first. Beautiful. Look at that, almost 400 bucks. Okay, so that was good. I can put this away. Very good. So we're ready to go. Um, yeah, it's nice and late. We're going to rest. And in the morning, you know, as I mentioned, I think previously, I kind of want to explore a little bit more and see if I can't find some more dog tags. Oh, did I still have those? Yes, I do. Okay, good, good, good. I thought maybe I accidentally sold them to the collector, but no, we still got the dog tags. So let me go ahead and undock. And oh boy. I hate to do it, but we have to explore a little bit more. Can't give up yet. Man, these this new engine we've got is incredibly powerful. Really, really fantastic. I should also be looking for some more fish, to be honest. I really wonder if this horn has any effect whatsoever. I don't know. Probably not. Maybe it does, though. At first, I didn't think the spyglass would have much of an effect, but it definitely does. All right, I kind of want to get up over here oh, don't oh my god okay good over here into this big area i feel like there might be something interesting in here what's this um yeah i'll collect some scrap well i searched around quite a bit and to be honest there probably are some more dog tags but i'm gonna give up <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and head over here turn in the ones we've got for sure so let's talk to the airman uh i found Dog tags. Um, I'll give you some co uh, componentry for each tag you bring me. Oh, you know what? Crap, it's not in my thing. It's in my storage. So that's probably why. Let's put these away. Come on. There we go. Drop off that. And there's the dog tag. Okay, now I'm hoping... He will recognize it now. Yep, there we go. I found some dog tags. Let me see them. There you go, sir. What do you think? What do you think? I thank you. I'll hang them on the tree here as promised. Okay, I was expecting two, but I'll take one. Uh, all right, I found the mortar part. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end. No more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it? I understand. So what's next? We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay. Uh, let's discuss the bait for the first one. This one takes three fish. A gar. Okay. And two of the same. This one takes three fish from the area to make. Okay. Um, come back when you've got the bait. Do you want to know anything else about the bait? Let's look at the second one. Okay. Yep, I've seen these. This is the same one, so we need three of this one. Some sort of perch or something, I think. Um, Alright, let's look for the next one. Ah, oh, yes, a couple of eels. I've seen those too, I think. Alright, no worries, no worries. So we should be able to catch those. Just take us a little time. And this will give me more opportunity to search for the uh, dog tags too. So we know where to put the bait. Alright, let's... Um, what am I supposed to be doing? Just make sure. Okay. Yep. All right, let's head out and I guess do some fishing and stuff. Actually, I need to repair. Um, I did injure myself here. Let's take a quick look. I kind of want to do this. Yeah, let's start working towards this bad boy right there. All right. Um, yeah, my rod is damaged right now. I, I ran into some rocks. Let's see, it's getting a little late. To be honest, I could head back out to the rickety platoon. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, cause I don't even think I can fish m in most of these areas that versatile rods down. That means I can't do any, uh, coastal mangroves. So, yep. That pretty much rules out everything. Oh, there we go. Well, I've got, uh, some fish. I got one gar at least, but I did discover another place to blow some explosives. So let's do that. Clear this out. I don't know if this is just a shortcut or what probably is. 
There might be something back here, though. I don't really see anything in here. No, I think this was just kind of a, yeah, a little shortcut. No worries. Just looking for some interesting fishing notes, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to wait till the evening before we can uh, get some of these fish. Oh, this one looks promising. Hold on. Um, no, I've already got that one. All right, Sergeant Fish. That's a new one, though, for us. What about over here? Uh, more gar. I need to have my, uh, be using my spyglass a little bit more often, but to be honest, it's getting a little late out here, so let's switch over to our light, just in case that thing burns out. Uh, you know what's interesting is I haven't seen any of the weird mine suckers right now, but it doesn't mean they're not out here. It just means I haven't seen them. Let's see, what is this? Here we go. This is definitely one we need. I remember the little catfish frills. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to catch another one. Cool. All right. Let's keep going. Um, 8 p.m. Where am I exactly? I think... Uh, you know what? I'm actually super close to the pontoon. Let's kind of head in that direction. But I don't want to give up yet. We're still... There's one particular kind of fish I'm looking for still. Let's see. See if we can't find it out here, maybe. What's this? What's this? Uh, yeah, this is it, I think. Yep, we need like three of these. Perfect. Yeah, the gray mullet. That's it. If I'm not mistaken. And I hope I'm not. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, so I just got hit by these mind flare thing over here. Oh, man, the spores are popping. My catch is rot rotting away. Dang it, I was trying to get over here to talk to this dude and I literally got attacked oh my god there he is right there oh no 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 oh I'm gonna have to catch all these fish over again I can't get out of here this is terrible oh, there's an exit come on come on Whew, we made it out of there at least oh my god I was just talking about how I hadn't seen any of those things around and whoo man oh man I'm going to have to sleep just for, you know what, screw it, we're going to sleep all night. Uh, I was going to say, we're going to sleep. Wait, oh look, the birds are eating my stuff. Dang it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh man. Well, every single fish I caught for that quest has rotted away. <laughs> oh man, not even kidding. I went over here and slept to get rid of that uh, insanity and... Yep, now I gotta start all over again. Well, at least now I know exactly what happens when the mind flares get a hold of you, and it is not pleasant. Not at all, so it makes it extremely difficult to get away. Man, that really sucks. Trap the suckers. I almost feel like uh, I'm a little bit dejected now at this point. I kind of want to just abandon the Twisted Strand for now at least. Maybe head back down to the Stellar Basin. Just, you know, a little change of scenery. Um, I don't think I'm ready for the Devil's Spire yet. Yeah, we should probably... You know, I left the Stellar Basin a little bit prematurely. And, I mean, come to think of it, I kind of left Gale Cliffs a little prematurely, too. So, let's do it. Let's head back south. I give up. The uh, the Twisted Strand has defeated me for now. It, it has won the day, but not won the war. So, we're going to come back. Don't worry, you guys. Um, but I I'm retreating for now. Check this out, guys. There's some dolphins here. Can we catch these? What do we do with the dolphins? Oh, my God. Can I interact with them? I've seen dolphins before, but... Do I follow them, maybe? What do you think will happen? I can't fish them. Nope, they just disappeared. Oh, darn it. All right, well, we've got ourselves a nice, quiet little shipwreck here on the edge of the Stellar Basin. So this is exactly what I wanted. Something calm and peaceful. Not going to drive me insane when I'm trying to drive around and explore. Although it did get pretty scary out here, didn't it? Let's see, where are we exactly? Okay, just got to make my way down. Uh, actually, you know what? We, we can sleep right out here by the outpost. Um, I want to find out what happens when I hit one of these jellies. Oh. oh, it popped. It probably is like the spores, I bet, where it like infects my catch if I get too close to it. So that's interesting. 
I don't think we can fish this depth. These fish are too deep for us. Yep, no, we can't do that one. So I'll just uh, continue along the rim here so I don't get eaten by the octopus. What's this? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and fish up some stuff so we're not pulling up to the pontoon totally empty-handed at least. All right, here we are back at the starlit pontoon. So let's go to the fish market. Oh, yeah, look at all that squid we got. Beautiful. Sell it. Put those away. And our cargo is now empty again. Oh, look at this. I'm getting full over here, though. i got to stop fishing up these metal scraps. Let me check out the dock. I'll go ahead and make sure everything is full of metal scraps, if possible. And probably some wood, too. Look, it's going to come down to the cloth again, man. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is an easy one right here. <gasps> I could probably cannibalize some wood from the other ones and do and open this one up immediately. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there we go. 350 bucks. That's an easy one. And we got two extra engine spaces. Now, how about this? Um, you know, this is another one. Yeah, actually, if I go and grab all the wood from the other spots, which are just kind of placeholders, we could finish this one too. All right, there we go. Let's upgrade it, baby. All right, so we're just missing a little bit of wood and some cloth, basically, is now what we need to full uh, to fill out our ship. And it is looking good. Um, I could get another engine. Actually, you know what? I've got another engine right here. Let's do it. Can I install? There we go. And once I get this jet engine researched, we can put it right there. Man, I don't have many explosives left. I need to uh, buy some more. I should be checking. Every time I pull up, I need to be checking the shipyards here because I'm kind of forgetting about that. Not only that, but she also sometimes occasionally has research parts too. So that's very important. Oh, we got to sleep. <laughs> we slept for like 10 minutes. Uh, that's enough. Okay, so I'm going to do something really stupid. I'm going to try and get this node right here. I think I might be a little too close, but we'll see. I don't know. This is definitely not for our quest, but it was just, I th you know, just happened to see it there on the edge and figured, hey, maybe we can try that one. Okay, here's another risky move. See that big eel right there? I think we can catch that if I get close enough here. Come on. Oh, dang it. I can't do it. What is it? Oh, that's Hoddle. So that's another deep one. Dang it. I just, I just, I don't know how to get out there yet. I have a feeling if we complete the researcher's quest, like I've mentioned previously, she said that this uh, engine over here drew the beast towards it and it attacked that engine. So if we figure a way to turn that back on, I bet you we can draw the, the big giant squid away from its home there. And we'll probably be able to get in there and slip past it at that point. Right now, I'm really just searching for that last um, squid or octopus we need. But hey, what's this? There's some boxes scattered haphazardly on the shore. Hey! Oh, that's another one of our... The map sections. Oh, cool. And some cloth. That is so huge. Yeah, that's big time right there. Woohoo! Cool. We're going to piece together a treasure map. Look, we got the... The spot of it that says that has the X there, too. That's so huge. What's that? Red snapper. A, I think I just saw something out there. Eh, bizzle. All right. Still looking for the squid. I don't know. The uh, the other ones that we caught were, are really, really plentiful, especially at night. The third one, though, I don't know. I'm not having much luck out here. I have no idea where it is located. Coral grouper. That's the center there. We'll get killed if we go for that. Okay, guys. Well, check it out. I actually searched around for quite a while looking for these squid that we need. And I decided, okay, I have to do it. I'm going to go ahead and Google it and take a look. So um, what it actually says is we have to dredge for this baby. That's why I couldn't find it. Because there are, I guess, apparently only some fish... Or fish that you can catch by dredging? I didn't even realize that, man. So we have been neglecting this the whole time. Or dredging, I, I should say trawling, not dredging. Trawling net. So we have to buy the trawling net and install this. Um, 
It does present a slight problem just in terms of size, but it's interesting that we've we, that I know that now. Let's look at our research too. So I really should be focused some more on these nets too. Yeah, definitely. I say I'd been completely ignoring them, but now I realize there's probably some fish for the other quests that I can only get by doing these nets. So that's a pretty big one there. I, I'm glad I looked it up because I was kind of just banging my head against the wall, not making any progress. So we now know what we have to do. We got to get some trawler. Although I guess I'll just buy this one. I mean, I wanted to wait and get some research parts and maybe get a better version, but this is okay. We'll, uh, we'll rotate. Hmm. I'm not sure what to uh, switch out yet, so let me see. Look at my storage. I'll open both these panels up here. Let's see, so that is just coastal. This is coastal, shallow, and oceanic. Hmm. I think I'm better if I actually get rid of this one for now, the versatile rod, and put, put this in its place. Can I do that? Or does it have to be on this side? Nope. Oh, yep. It has to be on that side. Dang it. Just wasted that time. That's okay. We're, we're learning. We're figuring it out. Um, so I do have to uninstall this. To put the trawl net in. Okay. Interesting. Got it. Okay. So there's that. Um, we'll obviously, we'll put that back in once we get the quest guy. Hey, look. There's the map. Ooh, that's beautiful. I'll put that down here in the corner. Yeah, so it looks like we're only really, I guess, needing one more piece, possibly. Maybe two, I don't really know. But we are going to find some buried treasure, guys, at some point. That's awesome. Okay, things are looking good. We're figuring stuff out, making progress. I really appreciate everybody who's been with me here through the series so far. Hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content. Leave me a message down below, and I will see you on the next episode.